was good this video is gonna be a little different i'm gonna make a tutorial to help y'all with the multivoicer because uh the tim henson one the tim henson uh tutorial it's good but as a beginner i couldn't understand anything so yeah remember this i am a beginner i am by no means a professional or anything so if you know more about this than me and i've said something's wrong or there's stuff I, you should do differently please comment down below i'm just trying to help with this video for uh, the beginners so i'm doing this in ableton live 11 trial this is the free trial i got it for free it's a 90 day trial so anybody can do this in this uh software right here it's free so um first thing you want to do and the first problem i encountered you have to put in your midi chords normally you would have to input the chords yourself but what's cool with polyphia is that they give you the midi sequences uh with the tabs so if you want to save yourself a lot of time and struggle get the tabs it's a very good um it's good look if i go right here there's all falls apart this is going to be our example today so all falls apart you get your midi and you put it in the second channel because the problem i had is that i put in i put it in the first channel in the midi one but it didn't work so you have to put it in the channel two so when that's done you want to adjust the tempo to your song all falls apart is already at 120 so we're gonna leave it like that also if you want to do other songs they do sell the midi sequences with their other songs but i think some songs don't have them so i'm gonna link your you a uh, video by this guy he he had th the description is very helpful in this video so you can watch that too in his description there's uh the midi notes for other songs and the next thing you do want to do is you want to get your plugin you want to get your archetype tim henson another problem that i encountered is that at first it wasn't there i clicked on plugin there was nothing so what you want to do you want to go to options preferences and then you want to go to plugins and you just turn everything on this is what fixed it for me maybe this is wrong but this is what fixed it for me i, I just clicked everything on so and then you do rescan and when you do rescan you get everything just pops up so yeah so you take your archetype and you put it on your audio 3 channel and boom it just pops up right here uh let me just put this to the side for the moment if you want you can just rename this to multivoicer so this is your multivoicer channel and when you're on the plugin you can use uh, you can use these uh, settings like you can do like uh, Tim said just engage MIDI but in his video there's a link to a multi voice um, XMP file I'm not sure and for this you just download it and you drag it in the archetype use this it sounds better with, for me and I also what I like to do for all falls apart I get this amp and I turn the gain a little bit up you feel me just it just sounds cooler to me at least so when that's done you want to make sure you have the right input so maybe yours it's one to try this you just your guitar is should be already plugged in your uh, <laughs> uh, interface and for the audio options too, the audio settings you go to option preferences and you go to audio i use this i use azio for all because the the mme direct x it sounded very bad so i use azio you can mess with these settings to find uh, your input but yeah you try this see mine is two so i just go to two so now we have signal this is good so when you have made sure uh your input is good what you want to do i i I recorded this once and I already uh, I forgot how to do it you go to output and you click multi voicer this is very important this is very important because this is another part I was struggling with so you get multi voicer and it should say archetype yeah so the next thing you'd want to do is you want to arm the recording this is something <laughs> I was struggling with also so you arm the recording you go to the start of the track put on your metronome and and now you the next step when every everything is good like that you just record it
I made a mistake, but that's all right. Okay, this is gonna do. And the next thing you just play it back and listen to the beautiful uh, multivoicer effect. So now let me show y'all how to do it with Genesis. Uh, oh yeah, also this <laughs> this is was this was another little struggle I had. Uh, I was like, what is this view right there? There's a little button right here that just makes it to for you to see this. Same thing. You go to your tabs, Genesis, Genesis tabs, Genesis chords, and you just drag it in the second channel right here and uh this we're good so you do no and then you set it to 90 right here set it to 90 and uh, you get your archetype put in audio 3 rename it if you want this is optional but it just makes it nicer rename it multivoicer boom set your good your good channel and then Set it to multivoicer, set this to multivoicer, arm your recording, and also you can mess with your multivoicer settings. Uh, for this one, see, we're gonna just use multivoice, we're not gonna change the amp. Just take this so the art, the recording is armed and everything, and you just play your song. Oh, metronome. Okay. Okay. And you just listen to it. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's it. So again, if y'all know um, if y'all know more about this than me, please comment down below. Uh, your help will be greatly appreciated. And thanks again to Jake and Funky Monkey for showing me how to do this. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Hope it helped. Goodbye.